Hi friends, peace be with you. So if a child is uh, there and if we see in today's society, parents want to love their child, want to give a lot of time to their child but they are not able to give it because they are so busy with their own work, lifestyle and then they try to give them stuff like toys and gadgets and mobiles to keep them busy and involved. But the child really needs love. The child really needs the love of his mom, his dad and their presence. So if we look very carefully uh, and we connect it to the, our spiritual journey with the Lord, the Lord is asking us your and my presence. Yes, God cares more about the love which we have in our heart for Him rather than the things which we do in His name. So God is more concerned about the love which we have in our heart for Him. That is the focus of the Lord. And so friends, oftentimes we, we sit in our personal prayers but we are just so... We are in hurry and uh, our time is fixed and we are not able to spend time with God. For us, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, we just talk, we give everything to Him and just rush. So the Lord was convict the Lord convicted me through the book of Hosea, where Hosea 6, chapter 6, verse 6 says that I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. The knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The Lord desires steadfast love. That does not mean that the Lord is not happy with what we do. But empty rituals, empty sacrifices will not make any sense unless there is a love in your heart. Unless there is a desire or longing for God. So are you longing for God more than you're longing for the things which you'll get from the Lord? Once again, I'll repeat. Are you longing for God more than you're longing for the things which you get from the Lord? I too was going through this thing. I was praying to the Lord and I was asking Him, Lord, when this will happen? What are this? Oh, these are my petitions. And whenever I have to go, I always need, have have a list or have, always have something to ask him but then once I realized that my focus is more on these things rather than on God himself and I told Lord please change my focus please change the things I don't want to come with a list or with whatever criteria I just want to enjoy with you and then the Holy Spirit convicted me I started going on uh, I started having a time a pointed time with Jesus I used to go and sit with him as I'm sitting with my friend on a coffee table we both used to have coffee in my mind I used to imagine this I used to speak to him I used to talk to him and I used to enjoy the entire experience of it rather than you know asking him what when this because I used to just surrender and forget about it so friends, the Lord is like your friend. The Lord is like your dad. He is your very own. And He wants to have that relationship and friendship with you. He wants to spend time. He is longing to give you a lot of things. But we ourselves have very little time to spend with Him. So this Christmas, if you want to give a gift to Jesus, spend quality time with Him. Spend time with Him. Whenever you go in prayer, try to go alone. Don't bring your thoughts, your friends, your family. Surrender it to the Lord and then just spend time your entire focus heart mind on Jesus because if you look carefully in the book of Hosea it's written that the people at that time were more relying on their uh, you know on the nations like Assyria and Egypt they were relying on their military power they were relying on their wealth and they were not relying on God himself so are we like them that we are relying on the material things which we have more than relying on God himself? It's a question to be asked. Are we longing for God or are we longing for things which we get from the Lord? That's the second question which we can ask ourselves. And so friends, uh, also we see in the book of Hosea chapter 7 verse 14, there is a wonderful scripture which says that they do not cry to me from the heart but they wail upon their beds. So most of the times we cry 
and have self pity on ourselves that oh this is not happening that is not happening but the word of god says that the lord has this complaint against us that why are you not crying and pouring out your heart to me that i will do something for you don't cry on your breads it's okay you can come and talk to christ because the peace which he will give you the love which he'll give you the joy which he'll give you is not going to be available in the world and therefore he wants to give you so much things but if you are not able to spend time with him he can't give you and friends again we see in hosea there is a scripture which really touched my heart it says that ephraim is a cake unturned it means that that uh, one side of the cake is baked and the other side is raw and cold that means there is a half heartedness in the hearts of people that devotion is half hearted there is more of ritualism rather than the spirit of god leading them and so this is what is happening even today we are become more of a ritualistic people rather than people who are going by the spirit of god we are more into you know the laws and the regulations they are important but the interior spirit of obedience the interior spirit of loving god should be present and so friends this is a wonderful time where we can give a very beautiful gift to jesus that is by spending quality time with him in our personal prayers and therefore jeremiah 33 3 says call to me and i will answer you i will show you great and hidden things that you do not know that is what god is telling you and me in acts chapter 3 verse 19 to 20 we say the lord says repent therefore and turn away from your sins and uh, uh, so that your sins may be wiped out and times of refreshing may come from the lord so the times of refreshing are going to come repent therefore believe in the lord spend quality time with him in your personal prayer and if you have liked this video do like it share it with your friends subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye